you just kind of slide it under like that. Take the tool, slide it under, and then pop it out. Nice and easy. That's what it looks like. So yeah, just do that for all three of them. So once all these three are off, you can just put it down to expose the nut. So yeah, just to show you guys, there's gonna be two clips like this. That clips on one on top, one on the bottom. What you have to do is just pry it open. So for example, this side, take your trim tool, pry it, the base here, like that. And then that came right off like that. And that should be enough. It's kind of loose now, see that? Voila, came right off like that. Just pull on it. Don't pull too hard though. So that, that, that's all loose now. That's just enough room to wiggle around here. Be sure not to bend this. Next on the uh, side, on both sides should be two caps like this. You just want to take it off and then unscrew this bolt right here. Voila. So both of these should be off like that. And now you can just pull it down. All right. Oh, that came loose. For some reason, I read online that it was supposed to be a 19 millimeter, but I use a 22. You, uh, I guess you can't see it, but. All right. So that's off now, the nuts right here. So I'll just pull it from the top and see if it comes off. So oh, let's see if it comes off. I gotta wiggle it off. Let's see, come off. How hard is it to come off? So on the side there, let's see if I can zoom in. A few clips that has to be clipped in. I see. Here. On the side. Oh yeah, so you need to disconnect this here first. Pull it out. And then that should come off. So yeah, I might just take a let's see. I'm gonna try and take a screwdriver and just press press in here and then take it off. I don't have another camera camera person to help me out, so it's gonna give it a try doesn't work that I'm gonna have to put down the camera for a bit and uh, give it a shot voila so I did manage to get it out holy shit and it is rusting holy shit I need to get this fixed I need to get this fixed I guess this is what's next I gotta do. Fix this up. Oh yeah. There's a broken piece. Whoever broke this broke it pretty good, so fuck. Time to fix this. What's going on guys? Day number two. So just a little update. 
So because of that rust on top of the roof, bought the car. So he bought the truck, uh, let's see, back two years ago, or like a month, no, a year and six months ago, and it was already damaged. I didn't think too much of it. I just thought, hey, it's, it's not leaking water. It should be good. Well, fast forward a year and a half after, I took off the XM radio antenna and it turns out it was rusting. So, yeah, man, we're gonna get that fixed. Um, the guy who's gonna paint my roof and fix that rust and uh, seal up the XM radio says that I have to take off uh, the roof rack and all of this junk on top. So I got to do that sometime uh, this week before Saturday. It's currently Wednesday night. So I got two days left, but I need to hurry up and do that because no one is going to be home to help me take this off. And then I got to make sure that, uh, you know, the car is going to be nice and clean for him to paint. So yeah, he's going to be taking care of the rust spot back here. Um, Toyota had a defect for the Blizzard Pearl paint, which is the white paint. They did not spray it too good. I think it's a tri-stage color, but um, they kind of half-assed it. So there's currently a recall going on. Um, basically, it's starting to bubble up from underneath the paint and starting to rust through. So the painter is going to um, basically take this off. Send it down to bare metal and then take care of, of this rust that's starting to form. There's a little spot there that actually got pretty bad, but it's going to be worse, I think, a few years down the line. So I'm going get, to get that taken care of as well as that uh, rust up there. And then, yeah, hopefully it should not rust for the next 5, 10 years. So, yeah, just an update. Hope to get the truck back by next week sometime. Um, had a lot of things to do still, but I also installed the T9. Um, I'll probably post up the video probably after I post up this one, but yeah, that T9, you'll see a different video on that. I like it so far. It did come with some blemishes, which you'll see on the video.